Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. I'm finishing them up for April today. I might get a start on May. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I've been going through some crap. There's been some stuff going on in my personal life. So we're just going to leave it at that. Taurus, Seven of Pentacles came out for you. Let's see what else wants to come out. Being very patient about something. If you've been patient for my readings, I do appreciate that. Waiting for something to fruit, possibly. I'm gonna go ahead and tip the camera down. Okay, hey now, hey now. But we're gonna get started. Okay. May have to back this up a little bit. Okay. Princess of Wands. Just gotta let them fly out of this deck, so bear with me. King of Pentacles is how you feel about the person you're dealing with. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? You're not in a very talkative mood right now. Princess of Wands is reversed. Not moving forward, not speaking. How do you, what, okay, what do you think? Two of Pentacles. <laughs> Possibly they're slightly indecisive, maybe? It's a possibility. Maybe you think they're juggling? Five of Pentacles is your intended actions. Okay. Why would the Seven of Swords be the outcome on that? Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wheel of Fortune reversed. I feel like you're backing off. Let's get the energy of the person you're dealing with. This is another one I gotta let them fly out. Emperor, yeah, Emperor reversed for their side. Okay. Somebody does another crap together. Possible fear of commitment. They're coming out as the Nine of Pentacles. That's independence. Could be dealing with a Virgo. It's upright. Just balanced fair. Guarded, defensive. Oh, 
Oh, damn, you want to make this legal. Huh, okay. I'm going to get a clarifier on that Seven of Swords. The Hermit. Okay. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right. Well, let's scoot that over. You've been extremely patient, Taurus. You've been extremely patient. Ace of Swords. Beginning of a new cycle, a new cycle of thought. I feel like possibly communication. Is this a revisit? One of that Ace of Swords, please. This is a new stage. Okay, yeah, okay. In separation, new stage. Something painful ended so something new can begin. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Well, whatever patience you had, you lost. That's why you're not speaking. King of Pentacles. How you feel about them. King of Pentacles. Emperor reversed. They're solid. They're grounded. They're stable. They probably got a good job. Probably make some decent coin. Not exact. <laughs> There's a catch. There's a catch. Somebody who doesn't want to be an emperor. Huh. All right. More on that. Three of pentacles. So friend zone feels so friend zone. Oh my god. Okay. Why are the two pentacles here? They're very wish washy. That's what you think. Wish wash. Wish wash. I don't know. Maybe. King of Cups upright. Knight of Cups reversed. Inconsistent poker faced the emotions there but they don't express it they don't say it I think they leave you wondering they leave you wondering that's why you've lost patience kind of feel like it's more of a friendship thing than anything
Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Talk to me about the Five of Pentacles. Talk to me about the Five of Pentacles for Taurus's intended actions. Talk to me about the Five of Pentacles, please. Four swords reversed. This is interesting, to say the least. This is very interesting. So you're going to leave them in the dust, but you're not going to leave them in the dust. It's going to stay in the back of your mind. You're going to let them miss you. I'm feeling let them miss you. Clarifier, please. One more. King of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> and the Chariot and the Page of Cups reversed. You're going to distance yourself. You're not talking, I'm not talking. Okay. Okay. Before I address this Seven of Swords, which I'm extremely curious about, because this is a very open-ended card. It, yeah. It, dishonest Dave. Yeah. Okay. But, but, there's multiple meanings. It's also, like, planning. So, hold on. Talk to me about this Nine of Pentacles. For the... Hi! Page of Wands reversed. Page of Wands reversed. Page of Wands reversed. Not moving forward. Probably don't want to be tied down. Lovers reversed. And the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Four of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. Oh, friends. Oh, friends. Okay. It's, it's cold. It's very cold. Could be a Virgo. Could be a Libra. Could be a Virgo Libra cusp. Virgo or Libra somewhere in their chart. I also have Gemini here. I, I just got paid. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. Just about everybody's on the board here. So if you hear a sign and it resonates, okay. If it's not, Lady Justice, the swords of justice. The swords are up. How they feel about you. I, I'm just kind of feeling like they're not quite sure if they want to commit. There might be another person involved. I got a couple threes here and a lover's reversed, but I, I... If it's not your story, leave it alone, the world. Five of Wands. Confrontational. Everything was a battle. Everything was a battle. Everything was an argument. There's confrontational energy here. Everything was an argument. I feel like you wanting commitment and them not kind of, yeah, judgment. Mm. 
There's hope for resurrection, but right now it's over. Why is the Nine of Wands here? A cycle had to end so a new cycle could begin. There was confrontation. There's hope for resurrection. Maybe they want to resurrect things, but... Kind of in the friend zone at this point. Why the Nine of Wands? Hanged Man reversed. You guys can't see it, but I'm smiling. Next. They think of you. That, that's the hang-up card. Confrontational. Apprehensive. Hung up. Close-minded. Can't see things from a different perspective. Harsh. Five of Cups reversed. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, guys. You have unprocessed emotions. I think you could well be dealing with a very non-emotional person. There's a hang-up. You have hang-ups. They think you have hang-ups. You're apprehensive. They think you have hang-ups. Huh. Okay, well, their intended actions is the Queen of Pentacles, which is very interesting because there's a King of Pentacles up there. And the Queen of Pentacles has shown up twice, so... It's a matched pair. I feel like it's going to take you walking away. But let's get a card on it. Queen of Wands. Two of Wands. High Priestess, Six of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. There's bad blood. Bad blood. They feel drawn to you. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Seven of Wands reversed, Ten of Wands reversed, and the Fool. Huh. Weird, but okay. They're very drawn to you. There's a sense of defeat. Like, as soon as you walk away, it's like spewing defeat. Like, they'll move on and let you go if that's what you truly want. But I don't think that's what they truly want. Queen of Pentacles, or Nine of Pentacles is still at the bottom of the deck. You're dealing with an extremely independent person. I don't think they necessarily want to be tied down. All right, talk to me about the Seven of Swords. Empress reversed. You saw it just kind of fall out. Two 
two of swords. So, communication, forward movement, no growth. So, a possible return, but what are you returning to? You're returning to the two swords. I see you having to revisit this and having to make a decision. How long are you willing to wait? That's a question you got to ask yourself. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Why is the hermit here? Talk to me about the hermit. Ace of Wands reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. That Nine of Pentacles is still at the bottom of the deck. I see them being left very unsettled and unable to start anything new because it never really ended for them or it ended awkwardly or painfully and they're still kind of laying in that pain. Hearing, sensing, feeling that someone couldn't recognize that. I don't necessarily think they were cold with emotion. I think possibly they had some unprocessed emotions from things. Maybe they just need to walk the path alone for a while. All right, let's get a wisdom on this. To be fair, Number 38, 3 plus 8 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2. Number 38, to be fair. Essential meanings. Balance. Justice. I need to consider options. Mutual benefit. The law of cause and effect. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nurture, nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving to letting go to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all these states. You'll always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Okay, here's the relationship message. Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There's much to be learned and you will learn it if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued and respected. Be fair to all. Okay, Taurus, this has been your reading for April 2022. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Again, I apologize for the delay. I send you off in peace, love, and light. And I will catch you next time, whatever next time may be. Take care of yourself.